Hello and welcome to the Your Business Card Guy Practical Corel Draw Tips. Today we're going to be talking about creating a usable button. Uh, you know on a website where they have those like, nice glossy shiny buttons that are uh, you know color and they look like they're uh, glinting or they're reflecting the light. That's what we're going to take a look at today. Um, I'm a fairly practical designer and when I try to do stuff I don't like to redo it every single time I need it. So we might start with a shape such as this click on the shape tool, give it a little bit of a corner to it, you know, something like that. Maybe let's make it a, a funky color, looks nice. Uh, and then typically what people are going to do is they're going to hit the fill tool, um, interactive fill, and maybe they're going to stretch that down, give it a little bit of a gradient, that looks nice. Then they might uh, decide, well, I want to have a little bit more of a dynamic look to it. So they're going to create another object, throw it on here, fill it with white, get rid of the border uh, and then maybe what you're going to do is reshape it a little bit we'll do this quickly uh, and then what you need to do is create it into a, a bitmap and then from there we're going to you know kind of fuzz it out I'm going to blur it Gaussian blur here give it a pretty high amount kind of makes it fuzzy and then I'm going to make it a little bit transparent we'll go uniform on that one maybe not quite that transparent something like that uh, and then you know if you get fancy you can even duplicate that and put another copy of it down here um, and that kind of gives us obviously this is a, a real rough and ready uh, quick kind of a thing but it kind of gives us the idea of what we're shooting for maybe go a little higher um, and you know that looks nice you could put some text on there and you've got yourself a button uh, that's great except uh, right up to the point where you want to change the color. Uh, I would have to go into the fill, find the object, go to the fill, start messing with the uh, the color options in the fountain fill, and that just takes forever. Uh, so what I'm going to show you is a better way to do this. We're going to start out the same way. I'm gonna shape a little bit. We're going to make it orange again. Okay, looks very much the same. I am now going to duplicate this layer select both, do E and C so that they center up on one another. I'm now going to take the top layer, fill it with white. In this case I'm just going to get rid of the border for the sake of that. And now what I'm going to do is apply transparency to the white layer to give us that same gradient effect that we had before. Okay, So now what I have is essentially the same looking button here. Uh, however, I now have the ability to go into my color layer and change the color and instantly I have a button that has the same essential effects so again if we take and throw these guys on there again convert to a bitmap yes go down and blur it it remembers what I did last time okay right and obviously it's a little bit out of shape here uh, but again once I am done with creating this effect if I don't need orange and I need a blue button for say a new project I just go to my color layer and I fill it and now I've got a blue button I mean that's just a fantastic way to go and this way when you share this out on the internet because uh, you do find a lot of these out there there's a bunch of free vector sites and whatnot but you're always having to manually tweak with the gradient stuff and it's a real pain in the butt and you have to end up it's just easier to do it do yourself over again um, if you set up all of your layers um, with white or gray and transparencies and, and gradient fills on those and leave your color layer solid, you'll always have a reusable button that will work for any project and you'll be able to knock it out very quickly. Uh, of course, I recommend you don't tell your customers how easy it is because you were smart enough to set it up properly the first time. Um, be rewarded for your cleverness and your hard work uh, and charge them accordingly based on you know the product that they're getting, not on the fact that it only took you three minutes to do it. Anyhow, thanks again for visiting with me. This is uh, your business card guy. Talk to you next time.